Hello, my name is Daichi. In this video, I want to talk about the new function inside Photoshop CC called Picture Frame. You can make customized picture frame like this. So let me show you how. It's a little bit difficult to find. Open the Photoshop, go to Edit, Fill, Click on Patterns and Add Contents, and check the scripted patterns, and choose Picture Frame from the drop-down list. Now, if you see Picture Frame and Tree grayed out, then your GPU might not be working. If that happens, go to Edit on PC or Photoshop menu on Mac. Choose preferences and click on performance and make sure this checkbox is checked. If still you can't select the picture frame then check NVIDIA or AMD control panel and check the setting. So let's try again. Go to edit, fill, pattern, Scripted Patterns, Picture Frame. Click on OK. Then this dialog box shows up. From Frame drop-down list, you see 42 presets of the frames. And I'm going to pick Eyelash this time. And there are some um, parameters here. You can change the vine color or margin. Margin is offset from that uh, edge of the screen. And size. Or thickness of the vine. Angle of the patterns. And arrangement is the number that controls the randomness. So as long as you keep this number and as long as you keep other numbers, then you can make identical frames over and over. But if you change the arrangement number, even though you don't change other attributes, the frame shape changes. If you click on invert, uh, somewhat it inverts these patterns from here to here. Let's try again. You see, it inverts. Some of the frames have a uh, flower. You can go circle or you can even choose none. Then it disappears. I'm going to choose heart again. And this is the color of the flower and you can change the size of the flower. Also, uh, there is a pattern called leaf, and you can change the shape of the leaf. You can change the color of the leaf. You can change the size of the leaf. I'm going to choose hearts for here too, then change the color to the pink, and click on OK. So we made uh, a frame like this. So if you change the parameters, even from one preset, you can make many kinds of patterns.
So you can make pretty frames easily. Also, you can make simple frames easily. The end of the list, there are some simple frames. So you can make simple frames like this too. But I like to combine a few frames. So if you combine several frames and uh, manipulate some of the shapes, you can make your own original frames. Let's try one more thing. very interesting patterns. So this is the one of the new functions from Photoshop CC 14.2. Thank you for watching.